previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but... We're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah, uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, See, uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ah! Uh, Petra, where are you going? May not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you, we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. ...then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh. 
Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's... I don't know. Like a redstone city or something behind that mountain? Over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand. Play and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here. Petra, wait. Petra? Shh, get down. What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? One zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Well. That seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Did we do with what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! We've got to attack them before they kill us! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine.
They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people, not anymore from the looks of it. Guys! Jesse, how goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. The well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Ooh, the 
What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. Uh. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Hama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people. The citizens of Crown Mesa. You met them, right? Maybe there was some outside? Okay, out with it. What's going on with these people? What's up with this town? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <sighs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. We came here from... Someplace else. You have confirmed Pama's suspicions. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. Ah. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. I'm sorry, but we were actually on our way out. Sorry, we've got to run, Would but... you look at the time? No need to show us the way out. We're not into big goodbyes. Ouch! Watch oh. it! <gasps> you will be made useful. <laughs> what... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am I talking to Pama right now? What is Pama? Some might call me a computer, a thinking machine, though there has never been a computer quite like me. My job is to be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them.
them be useful. Coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Thrilled, even. We walked here. Walked. Elaborate, please. It's, uh, when you use your feet to take you someplace? You are attempting to be cute. Attempt failed. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. Mama, hang on. Let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can't delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things for people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one? Or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Let my friends go, now! Oh. It's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes. Like a computer version of thinking. Do you think this will be to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? 
a city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Let's ask Pama something that doesn't make sense, like a uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Pama something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. <laughs> but if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying, which means that you are being... Truthful? It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error! This method is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, uh, uh it worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you! Thomas a quicker learner than you think! Paradox status on roll. Jazz, my creator, have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, this way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run. <laughs> so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. Off oh, the grid? Harper, in case you haven't noticed, there's no place to hide out here. Well, actually, there is. But I'm gonna need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Oh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be very secret if you did see it, now would it? <laughs> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little 
off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quick. Huh, that cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim for that. Showing everything it's got in us. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. Yeah, we have definitely landed on Palma's bad list, and I'm getting the impression that it's not the type to give up lightly. This kind of not giving up I can deal with. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes, their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that, it's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Oh. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something, like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie. I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It works! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook, despite our setbacks. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I, what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. 
Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Baron, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just going to leave my friends chipped up, though, right? We can still help them? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow. What a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know. I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma! Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please! I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra! Please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Uh, 
Jesse? Oh. Harper, I'm oh. coming! Harry? Come on! What are we going to do? Harper told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! <laughs> 